IELTS in Nebelo, who joins us now with Sports News. Yes, indeed. Head coach of the Nigeria under 23 soccer team, Samson Siasa, says his team have learned a lot from the Four Nation Suwon Invitational Tournament in Korea Republic. The Olympic team earlier today ended the Invitational with a 3 1 defeat of Honduras. Coach Siasa believes the experience in Korea was overwhelming and the team will improve on their weak points ahead of the Rio Olympic Games. The Confederation of African Football CAF have confirmed two time African champions, Ayimba, will host Zamalek of Egypt on Sunday, June the 19th in the first round of games in Group B of the CAF Champions League. The game will be played at the Adokie Amiasemaka Stadium in Port Harcourt, River State. The People's Elephants will also face E.S. Satif and Sundowns as they look to plot a way through to the knockout stages for a third African crowd. Chinese retail giant Sunin Commerce Group Co Company Limited has agreed to buy nearly 70% of Italian football club Internazionale, also known as Inter Milan, for 270 million euros, the highest profile takeover of a European team so far by a Chinese firm. Sunin confirmed the deal today at a joint news conference with Inter Milan executives, including current majority owner and president Eric Tohir in the eastern Chinese city of Nanjing. The current president, Eric Tohir, says that he would cut his stake back to 31% as he needs support to help enter back to the top of European football. Uh, the process we want to speed up. We have a five years business plan. We want to be consistent in Europe League, even Champions League. It's important. Then, in the reality, 190 million of our friends in Asia more than 100 million in China. To find a win-win solution to develop market in China, that's the fact. World number three, Roger Federer is optimistic. He's back on the mend as he prepares to return to action in the Wimbledon warm-up event at the Stuttgart Courts. The seven-time Wimbledon champion, who is on broken run of 65 consecutive appearances at the Grand Slam tournament, ended when he withdrew from the French Open last month because of back pain has been hitting in Germany. And that's a wrap in sports news. I'm Ayotunde Balogun. The News at 10 continues shortly. Away from sports news, violence persists on the streets of Kenya as protesters continue to demand the country's electoral body, which would oversee elections next year, step down. Reports say at least two people have died and five have been injured after Kenyan police opened fire to disperse opposition protests in the western city of Kisumu. Clashes between protesters and the police have been a regular occurrence, even in the capital, Nairobi. The Red Cross today set six protesters in the western city of Kisumu are being treated for gunshot wounds. One local newspaper reported that a protester had been killed and his body used to close the road. And Nairobi's police chief had warned opposition supporters not to take part in today's protests in the capital. Meanwhile, officials in Ukraine have found out there was a plan in the works by terrorists to attack the Euro 2016 football tournament, which begins on Friday. It can all be traced to a Frenchman who was detained last month with a large cache of arms. He's been identified as 25-year-old Gregor Muto, who was arrested on the Ukrainian border in, with Poland. Ukraine's intelligence chief, Vasil Hyask, says at least 15 attacks were being planned for the international event. Gregor was found to have amassed guns, de detonators, and 12 kilograms of a highly explosive yellowish compound formed from Tulwen. Well, the government says British bridges, motorways, a synagogue and a mosque had been targeted for attacks during the event. On entertainment news tonight, the Nigerian cast of new transnational movie Ghana Must Go step out for its premiere over the weekend. Details and more from Mayowa Ugundili. 
Many thanks. Hey, your training entertainment stories. In what will go down as the most celebrated movie premiere in Hollywood at this time, award-winning filmmaker Kunle Afola, your delighted friends, colleagues, as well as the cast of his new movie, The CEO, with an exquisite premiere which held about 30,000 feet above sea level. <laughs> Ghanaian and Nigerian actress Von Okoro led the Nigerian cast of a second production, Ghana Must Go, to its red carpet premiere over the weekend. Other stars, including Ghanaian actor Majid Michel, Julius Agu, also graced the event. The Gallywood Nollywood collaboration stars Kofi Ajololo, Ada Ame, Nkem Owo, Blossom Chukujeku, Helen Paul, amongst others. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> My son will never look at you again. Award-winning actress Risa Dominic and Tony Monjaro, Uru Eke and Ijoma Agu are set to star in the new movie One Room. Written and directed by producer of hit series Lekki Wives, Blessing Igbe, the movie speaks about the trials and triumphs of the family. I become the problem! Star Whiskey features in a new song titled Like This. The dance track was produced by Ghanaian DJ Henry X. And that's it on Entertainment News. Many thanks for watching. Let's head back to the menus. Thanks a lot, Mayowa. And the main news again. President Mamadou Buhari today left for London to take care of an ear infection. The president will also spend his 10-day vacation in the British capital. Also today, former president, Good Luck Jonathan, alleged that he is being investigated for corruption. The former president told Bloomberg Television that he would wait until the investigations are concluded before making any further comments. That's News at 10 tonight. Thanks for watching. I am Amarachi Bani. Good night.